Sound Pete's Air 4. Sound Pete's Air 4 Lite. The Sound Pete's Air 4 Lite are supposed to be a budget version of the Sound Pete's Air 4. But in some ways, the Air 4 Lite feels like a better version of the Air 4. Let me go ahead, give you guys a brief comparison of the specs. Uh, both these headphones have Bluetooth 5.3. Both of them have the same size battery, although we get better battery life with the Air 4 Lite using LDAC. The size of the battery in the case is the same. The actual case design themselves is the same. One of them just uses glossy plastic, one of them uses matte plastic. The difference that we have with the Air 4 Lite and what makes me ex more excited for the Air 4 Lite compared to the Air 4 is that they come at a lower, more accessible price point and they kind of get rid of some of the features that I think a lot of you guys don't care about. I don't think you guys care about active noise canceling on a pair of AirPod style headphones. The active noise canceling doesn't offer very much. Some of you guys are gonna care a lot about the multi-point connectivity, which that's just one win for the Soundbeats Air 4. Multi-point is awesome. It's great for people that have two phones or people that are going between a phone and a tablet constantly. That's just an advantage of the Qualcomm 3071 chipset. If you don't care about active noise canceling, if you don't care about Qualcomm Snapdragon Sand, which is only available on Chinese OEM devices from BBK and from Xiaomi and maybe Huawei, um, but if you don't care about Snapdragon Sound because you have a Pixel, a Samsung, an iPhone, uh, then you're not going to have much of a reason to get the Soundpeats Air 4. The Air 4 Lite features the same 13 millimeter driver, the same size battery, the same case design, the same build quality, the same fit, the same finish. They just took the 3071 chipset out of the Air 4 and replaced it with the chipset that they have in the Soundpeats Engine 4 in these. Now, as you guys know, I don't necessarily love LDAC. With LDAC, you are going to sacrifice, usually you're gonna sacrifice battery life compared to regular app decks. You're gonna sacrifice some range in my testing. You're gonna also sacrifice connectivity stability and connectivity in crowded environments just because of LDAC. Soundpeats has done a lot to fix some of the issues I had with updates. Did a whole video about that. And updates have fixed the Engine 4 for me. But that means that LDAC, right, is now a viable alternative to Qualcomm Snapdragon Sound, which you probably don't have again. So that leaves my first impressions of the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite as being the Soundpeats Air 4 without the useless features that get thrown in, whether it be for marketing purposes or because some people really care about them. Let's go ahead and give these a listen. I haven't listened to them extensively at all, just as like a little refresher. Okay, so just like the Sound Pete's Air 4, the Air 4 Lite sound really, really good. They have decent bass, although, I find that the smaller driver in this in the Soundpeats Air 4 series to be possibly inferior to the larger driver in the Air 3 Deluxe and the Air 3 Deluxe HS. That said, you're gonna be able to EQ these and tune them to your liking. Um, microphone quality of the Soundpeats Air 4 was okay, but it was really, really compressed and garbled. I haven't tested this the microphone of the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite, but I'm going to assume that this, the microphone of the Air 4 Lite is gonna use the same noise reduction algorithms that, you're, that you would have in the Soundpeats Engine 4, which I reviewed, linked to that somewhere up here, uh, which would then lead me to say that the microphone of the Air 4 Lite might be better than the microphone of the Air 4 in anything other than a super crowded environment. I feel like I can recommend both the Air 4 and the Air 4 Lite to both to like both groups of people. I don't know if the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite make it into the S tier category simply because they don't have any premium features really to deliver on other than LDAC. The Soundpeats Air 4 with their lossless app decks, which again, might not matter to you, and the fact that they have multi-point, which is a premium feature, 
uh, those kind of make them qualify for being S tier just by the addition of that multi-point connectivity. I don't know if I could call these S tier because of the lack of a premium feature. But this might be the first time I could say that an A tier pair of headphones is better for most people than a pair of S tier headphones. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below.